this is Larry the Barberman and today I am back in Bromley at Pirate's Barbershop with Harry Pirate himself. Yes. Today we are going to do a review on what both Harry and Larry consider to be the top three cordless clippers. Yeah. If you don't know Harry, uh, Harry has his own YouTube channel called Harry Pirates and it gives real advice to real barbers and he gives real inspirational tips and real reviews. And if Harry doesn't like something, as you're probably about to see I'll on tell one you. of the two videos today, he will tell you openly. That's it. So thank you for having me back again, Thank Harry. you for coming back, Larry. Thank you yes. so much. Yes, good to see you again, mate. How are you? Very good. Good, very, very good. Just been busy, but everything's all good. That's it, it never stops, right? Exactly. That's it, that's it. So both Harry and Larry have decided that the best free clippers and trimmers from detailed right up to bulking mm. clippers are A, the Andes Slimline Pro Lie, mm. and secondly, in the centre, we decided that the Wall Magic Cordless Clip was yeah. the one in the middle and at the top end for your bulk. And as I've just learned from Harry before setting up the cameras, uh, one that can do the bulk and every single aspect of barbering is the Andes Supra ZR. Yeah. So let's start off with right down at the very bottom, Harry, with the slim line. These little bad line. boys. So I don't know if people that follow my channel, they'll know that I'm in love with these. These to me, obviously from Andes, the greatest barber make in the world. These are amazing. These are the best trimmers you can buy. They're to be honest with you, they're powerful, as powerful as the wall corded detail is in my opinion. Once they're zero gaps and adjusted, these are amazing. I, I can't fault them. I know a lot of people on YouTube have had a big problem with the power button. A lot of them break, you can't turn them on again. I know Chris Bossio from America, he's had a big problem with them. But look, I mean, it's a great product. This here is the greatest trimmer in my opinion. I'm not saying hands down it's the greatest, but this cuts the closest. Um, the way that you can adjust this blade is great. And for me, it's all about power, Larry. You know, if I've got something that's underpowered, it's going to snag. You know, you, you can take hair down. I do like head shaves. They want their head razored, obviously. I will always turn to this to do, you know, a quick buzz over before I razor it, rather than go for something like the blackouts or the T-outliners. Reason is because it's so portable. You can flip it around in your hand, you can move it. And it, this has got the same power as a corded detailer. And in my opinion, um, you know, in the cordless ones, this is the greatest. I've used a lot of trimmers, uh, being like the detailers, T-outliners, which we've mentioned, and also the super liner, which Andy's do. Um, but yeah, to me, this is the greatest. I love the build quality. I know a lot of people have said it's a little bit plasticky. Um, to me, I don't mind that. I don't want a heavy trimmer in my hand if I'm trying to you know, use a cordless one. It's the whole idea of a cordless, right? You want it to be nice and nimble and... Yeah, I love it, mate, honestly. This is, this is the greatest trimmer in the world, as far as I'm concerned. So, thumbs up to Andy's for that one. Okay, so I'm just going to play devil's advocate now. Yeah. How, you know, you said that you uh, would use that to board off someone's head. Yeah, yeah. How much limitation do you think that that has compared to the T-outline? Okay, so... First things first, it's obvious, the blade size. Okay, so the T-outline has got a T-wide blade. Um, in my opinion, the, the uh, T-outline blade is a little bit closer. Okay, so it cuts a bit closer, obviously, and it lines a little bit sharper. But that is, that's, that's just me. You know, other people might find that they've adjusted that and it works better for them. It's everyone's own hand pressure. It's their own sort of way of cutting. Uh, to me, this is probably, it's on par with like a T-outliner, but you haven't got the length, obviously. And... Do you know why I like this? Because it doesn't pinch. You can literally push this in. Like when you're obviously cutting lineups, you don't press into the skin. You're touching the hair, uh, you know. But with this, you can actually press. Even if it's zero, it just won't cut people. I've used this on kids, you know, 10-year-old kids, 12-year-old kids, 9-year-old kids, old people who have obviously got a lot looser skin. These are little things you've got to watch out for, you know. If somebody old comes in, they've got looser skin, obviously it's going to get caught in the blade a little bit more. This doesn't do that. You can use this for anyone. It's great. So basically um, it's hard hitting, but yeah, gentle at the same time. Very hard hitting. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can zero this right out. This is zeroed, but it's not like 
butted right against the static blade. This is slightly off, but I like it like that because I can get just as crispy lines. I'll just adjust the angle a bit more. Yeah, instead of touching there, I'll touch there. And that gives me just a sharp line, but it also allows me to pull it off a little bit if I'm with a younger client or an older client, because the skin's different, right? So to me, all round, this is the greatest trimmer. And one thing I'll add from a technical point of view, when they're not quite hitting and you want to adjust the tension on them, the, the tension is of causing a big problem with a lot of people on the T outline right. owing to the fact that they've got to take off the belly off of it and then adjust, adjust the tension it. screw. On that one, you just take the two screws off of the it, top and, it's and in the centre, you're going to have one flat screw. You just literally turn that That's a little it. bit, yep. tweak it and put it back on and there's no complications. Exactly. No, I, the, I agree. The T outline, you've got that. So that's Well, yeah, thing. you have to take the whole belly off of these, as you know. You've, I mean, you've got to take that whole, the whole case off. Like you said, it's so easy. Yeah. It's there. It's like two little screws, boss, you're done. And the same is with, with adjusting it. You have to take the blade off and then there's two other little screws inside that you, uh, that you play with. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just easy all around. Larry, to be honest with you, this is a godsend. When I bought it off you, I was sceptical. I was. I was like, how, how can this be better than the corded ones? But I find myself, I have it there in my station and I'd say eight out of ten times that I use this for a lineup, I'll use this, uh, a trimmer for a lineup, sorry, I'll use this, rather than reach for, say, the blackout or the T-out liner or something. It's just so easy. I think if you're a barber in any country and you haven't got this, you're failing. <laughs> you need to go out and buy this, honestly. It's great. I love it. Okay, so just a second ago you was talking numbers. Yeah. Marks out of 10 based on all the trimmers you've ever used in your life, yeah. how much out of 10 would you give that? Okay, even though this is a cordless and it might not have the constant power of a corded clipper, this will get a 10 skull and bones out of 10. Honestly, I'll give this a 10 out of 10. No clipper can I, I, I haven't had a problem with this. this. This is why I'm saying 10. I know a few people have said that bits are broken or it this doesn't lose power it works every time i've not had a problem with it so for me this is a 10 out of 10 clipper okay and i suppose just in closing in terms of power the reason why that will keep its power because that is a lithium yeah, battery exactly. and if anybody knows the difference between lithium and cad 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 that well it's cad something yeah. or the other yeah. the cad as they lose power it will dip as it's getting uh, closer to the end of the life. That's it. With the prolithium, so they'll just cut. And it'll just it. cut, that's yeah. it. But obviously you don't let it get to that, it's got a really good uh, dock. That's the other thing I want to say as well, with these cordless ones, you get obviously your charging docks. You've got something like the, um, the wall detailer cordless. I've got that, and I, like you know, it's just sitting in my drawers of paperweight. The charger breaks like that, and you can't buy a replacement, so... Yeah, I mean, well, this is, well, you can now, yeah, but this is, this is a proper dock that it goes, it's, it's great, look, let's not beat around the bush, this is an amazing little trimmer, and if you're a barber and you haven't got this, go and get it, because it would change your game, it would make your job easier, therefore, you'll be happier, give people a better service, it's my opinion, my opinion, you can do whatever you want, it's my opinion. Okay, so let's move on to the, the mid. Okay, so the mids, uh, I... Larry and I talked about this. Um, I think that the Magic Clip cordless, which you can get in an English version now, right? Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's still voltage anyway, right? Uh, you can about 15 months. Yeah. Too. So this here from Wall, um, obviously I've mentioned in previous videos and stuff, I prefer the Andy's guard system. Uh, however, this is a brilliant little clipper. It's amazing. Uh, I think you've got the, is that the corded one there or is that the master or the legend? The legend. Yeah. Anyway, this. There's a lot of things I love about this. Uh, the first thing is obviously the power. It stays powerful right until the very end. And the blade as well, it's got this little stagger tooth blade. Um, what that means is that each tooth on the bottom moving blade, each second one's shorter. And what it does, it actually, they call it crunch blade technology. What it does, it actually gives you a very nice textured blade when you're fading. Um, it almost fades for you to be honest. It, it kind of shatters the lines that you'd normally get. It gives you like a really nice texture. I can't explain it, it's strange. If you use this compared to like a normal bevel blade, you really do notice the difference. Because I went from 
obviously using like a legend straight to this when I was still in my wall days. And uh, it was night and day. Like my fades just took a completely different turn. And that's not just because of the blade as well, obviously. It's the whole package, the ergonomics, the power, um, the lever placement. To me, this is a perfect mid clipper. Even though I use Andy stuff, I will always go back to this. I use this for clipper over comb. I use it for fine tuning fades. If there's little shadows, you know, you can go over with this. This blade here, out the box, when it's zeroed, that obviously comes out of the box, it's close anyway, but zero it off. And this is pretty damn close. It's such a thin blade at the end. Um, this, this is brilliant for taking little lines out and stuff like that and shadows. You can really fine tune, detail your fades, you know. And in my opinion, it's invaluable. I use this all the time. So would you say that that staggered tooth, in certain respects, cleans up messy textures? It can do, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so say you do a nice fade with like your masters or something, open blade, and you've got like slight shadow that you're struggling, you can just whack this open, always start open, never shorter, and you can work down. I've taken shadows out of every clipper's fade with this, it's great. And it's a workhorse, the battery lasts eight, nine haircuts. And it was just like you're saying before, it just cuts, there's no loss of power. So as long as you, and the great thing is you can keep topping it up, so between each haircut, just plug it in. And if it just charge for your next haircut, it's great. It's the last, it won't run out of battery. I've never had this run out, ever. People are like, oh, buy two, charge one, leave the other one. But you don't need to, this is all you need. But um, yeah, the Magic Clip Cordless, it's an absolute diamond. I wouldn't, I wouldn't not have this in my drawer. So is it ever. fair to say that you could, power permitted, run your whole barbershop with that? 100%, one 100%. There's no reason you can't, use this as your main clipper. And, you, and like I said, you don't need to buy two. Don't worry about it running out. Like how many haircuts are you gonna do a day? What, 10, maybe 15, if you're really busy, 20, if you're really, really busy and you're knocking them out. Um, it won't lose power, you just plug it in. Five minutes and you've got enough for a, for a cut. So I, this has never run out on me, ever. It's, this is like, say like a B plus in the whole alphabet rating system. It's like a good B, maybe an A, maybe an A. But yeah, I really like this. It's a great little clipper. And the ergonomics as well, I talked about on my channel. It's slightly different to the others, yeah. Yeah, you got like, even that little thumb indentation. I know it looks silly to somebody watching, oh, a thumb indentation. But it serves a purpose. You've got wet hands or anything, and you're grabbing it, especially with gloves on. I use gloves when I'm doing fades, because I don't like hair splinters. But yeah, it's great. It's like, even these little bumps at the back, you know, you don't get that on other cordless clippers. I think they're, yeah, they're catching on now. But before this came out, what do you have, the designer, and you had a couple other... They didn't feel good. This actually uh, feels really good. That took over from the Wall's Super Tape. The su yeah, the cord, exactly, yeah. Well, this is, to me, this is a much better clipper, much better. I even think this is, um, you know, it's a bit more powerful than the, the Super Tape of cordless, yeah. Again, yeah. we've got the lithium battery where well, it's yeah. the cadmium. Well, there you battery. go, yeah. No, it's great. I love this little clipper, honestly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be without this. I think that everybody, I'm gonna say that about every single one, you gotta have this, but yeah, honestly, well, this. Our top three, Harry. Well, there you go. Three. This one and the, the Andy Slimline Pro Li, 100%, you gotta have them. So let's talk numbers, out of 10. Out of 10, for as a cordless. Mid range, mid range. As a mid range, cordless. as a, as a cordless, you know, power ergonomics, I'm gonna, take into consideration the wall guard system as well. I'd say a solid, a solid eight. It's a solid eight. Okay, so what you're saying is if that had the Andy system on, then that would- If this had the Andy system on it, it's a 10. Andy, Andy guard system. It's a 10. Have you used the wall uh, premium guards? That's what I have, yeah. All I right, okay. The, uh, I have the premium ones because the other ones I didn't like, they're too flimsy. But yeah, the premium ones, metal clip, the uh, polycarbonate's a lot stronger, and they're rounded at the end as well, which is important. A lot more rounded, so they're a lot more comfortable for your client. But yeah, this paired with these is great. You can do a sick fade with these. It's just that I now pre prefer the Andes because they're a lot easier to use. So. But yeah, no, these, these are great. And uh, Wall Magic Clip, recommended. Eight out of 10. Okay, so let's move on to the Super because when I walked through that door and we started talking about the super, so you were like, you were walking on there, so yeah. I know you, you can't wait to, to, to throw it out what you're finding with okay. the super.
So the Andy Zoop for ZR never used them before. You sent them and you was like, see what you think about those. And all I can say about these clippers are, I want them. I don't want to give them back. <laughs> you might have to fight me for them later. <laughs> no, seriously, these are brilliant. Um, the great thing, obviously, detachable blades, you know, people have used detachables before. I haven't, personally. I've used Osters a few times, but nothing, you know, massive. Uh, these are great for everything. Clipper over comb, detailing, you can line with these. You put the triple zero blade on or the four, the four zero blade on. It's as close as a detailer. Like even these, I'll put this triple zero blade on and I'll use this to do beards, um, outlining, sideburns, everything. This is great. The power in this is amazing. You've got three speed settings, even lowest speed. It, I liken it to a, to a pivot motor clipper. It's that powerful. It's great. I use this Remax M, but it's a road trip site. It's slightly more powerful. Yeah. I was quite shocked when you told me that you, you know, even though it's like on paper, it should be like a bulk thing where you're kind of not going for detail. You're, you said that you like it. Yeah, for detail, definitely. I mean, look, you put this little blade on, you put a zero blade on, you put a one blade on. It's just as good as having an adjustable lever clipper, in my opinion, because the way these blend into each other is great. This, like, you know, these blades go into each other just like the purple guards on Andy's clippers. If you, if you get it right, obviously you've got no technique how to flick out and stuff. But at first, I remember saying to you, oh, you can't do a fade with these, I need the lever. You don't. You can do a whole fade with detachables, especially this. And uh, the, the blades properly and have a system. Yeah, yeah. You can't just yeah. throw them down. You've no, got to you've got to know exactly yeah. where you're leaving yeah. off, where you're starting. And the other thing as well, of course, I'm big on build quality, as you know. You can't get better. These, these, these are on par with Masters build quality. They feel amazing. You know, they're, they're so chunky. That literally, if I threw this at you, it would push you back. They're great. And uh, I just think Andy's have really done a great job with these. I really do. I think even, I think it's genius putting the three speed settings. I really do. Like I was telling you earlier, so I use the high ones for like clipper over comb because okay. it's quick, obviously. Yeah, just boom, boom, boom. I'll turn it down to like mid speed for like beards and I'll even use it on low for doing like close to the next stuff because a lot of people get sensitive. So I'll put it on the low. But there's no like loss of power. You haven't got to go slower. You can still like bang it even on the lowest speed. And yes, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Please let me keep these low. These are great. I love them. I really Jessica's want them. the one you've got to speak to. Yeah, I will do. <laughs> Jessica, again, love you. But yeah, no, these are great. Uh, Osta do one, the Octane, which I was also having a look at. I'll touch on that very quickly. Um, very, very similar. Uh, I love this as well. You gave me this one first and I said I loved it and then you sent this, blew this out of the water. The reason is um, it feels a bit chunkier in your hand. The speed settings are a lot more powerful in my opinion. And this is very loud. It's very loud. Look, I'll give you a quick demo. Put it next to your yeah. mic. So that's the Zupra ZR. Okay. And this is the Oster. You can tell it's a lot louder. That's um, funny because when you've turned the Oster on now, it sounds like you're about to go down on a pet or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a pet clipper. But look, n not taken away from Oster at all. Carbon fibre body really feels really nice. This is a lovely clipper. I love it. Like for clipper over comb, this is perfect. I wouldn't use this probably for a fade. I do find that these speed settings make a big difference when you're dealing with different air types and that sort of stuff. Um, so to me, yeah, I mean, this would get out of 10. I'd give this a, a solid seven. This is a 10 all day. This is a 10 out of 10 clipper. A solid 10. A solid 10. I mean, I'd be very happy paying my money for this. I'd be a for the price this is, the Oster, I'd be a little bit dubious about handing over the cash. I would, because it's great, but um, if you're in the market for one of these style clippers, the Andy Zupra ZR, all day, all day. Yeah, I'd say, I'd go as far as saying this is like my second favourite clipper. Like, even not being an adjustable. And the great thing I was saying to you earlier, you can put guards on this. However, you cannot use the double magnetic guards, you need to use the single magnetic guards. And these actually fit pretty good. The double ones rattle around a lot. 
Just bring that up closer to your face and show the wiggle in on that because I'm okay. getting tighter on, on that with the, yeah, that one. So the single magnetic Andy's guards, they will not wiggle too much. They will not wiggle too much, okay? Those have got a nice fit. Whereas the double magnetic guards, they wiggle around a lot. So you know I'm an advocate for the double magnetic guards. However, if you're buying one of these, you will want the single magnets. They're the ones that fit. Even though the guards aren't great and they don't blend into each other very well for the fit, these are the ones. And to be honest with you, you're not going to use guards on this a lot. It's, it's for an emergency, really. But yeah, out of these, Zupra, 10 out of 10. 7, 8 out of 10. Okay, perfect. Harry, thank you very much for sharing your experience with all three of those no clippers. Problem. Like I said it was a kind of joint decision. Yeah. What were the best three clippers? Me, obviously, from a build point of view. Yeah. And what comes back to no, me. No, 100%. What I get. And you, of course, being an experienced barber and a passionate barber about tools. Yeah, I love what you're saying as you. I, I, I love what barber tools do. I mean, it makes sense. If, if they didn't, we wouldn't be able to do our job. But uh, there's so many things out now, so much technology. It's great to explore it all and have a look. And uh, hopefully I've helped one or two people make a decision. So. An informed decision at that. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. Harry Pirate, thank you very much. No problem, Let's though. move on to the Cool Did review. So cool. We're going to sign off. Sweet, no problem.